guys, welcome back to the channel. With the release of Monster Hunter Rise on PC, many of you will play Rise for the first time. If you didn't know already, one of the many new additions in Monster Hunter Rise are the Switch Skills. Switch Skills are swappable moves for each weapon, allowing different playstyles and approaches to combat. Each weapon type has a total of 6 Switch Skills, divided in 3 sets of 2 moves. That means you can only switch between 2 moves of each set. It's not possible to change one move of one set with another one from a different set. Every weapon already has one switch skill of each set by default. The other switch skills must be unlocked by completing different tasks. After you complete the requirement, talk to Master Utsushi. He will have a yellow speech bubble above his head. There are three tiers to unlock all the switch skills. First, you have to unlock 3-star village quests and 2-star hub quests. This is done by simply progressing through the story. Second, you have to craft 8 variants of the weapon class you have chosen. And third, you have to clear a special quest in the hub specially for your weapon type. Again, those quests are unlocked by progressing in the story. We made this series to help players by showing what each switch skill does and how to use them. Great sword! The tackle is an attack that lets you shoulder bash, dealing KO damage and makes you immune to knockbacks for the duration. In addition, if you use it in the middle of a charge attack, you cancel the current charge attack and go to the next charge attack. This is useful to quickly go to your true charge slash or rage slash. The Guard Tackle is a switch skill for tackle. It's slower than a normal tackle, but this allows you to block an incoming attack. If you successfully block it, you instantly go to either True Charge Slash or Rage Slash depending on which skill you have. The most powerful attack Greatsword has to offer. After using a strong charge slash, you can perform a true charge slash which consists of a small hit followed by a more damaging slash. Alternatively, you can use the tackle or guard tackle to shortcut into it. By hitting the small slash on a weak point, the big attack after will deal more damage. Rage Slash is a switch skill for True Charge Slash. Like the True Charge Slash, you perform this attack after a strong charge slash or after a tackle. Rage Slash deals less damage compared to its counterpart, but with the difference that you can absorb attacks. The more damage you take while charging, the more damage you deal. Using two wire bugs, you go airborne and perform a swing with your sword. If that swing connects with a monster, you can choose to either perform a mid-air charge attack or perform a downward slash, cutting everything below you.
Adamant Charge Slash is a switch skill for Hunting Edge. With the use of one Wire Bug, you dash forward, gain Hyper Armor for the duration of the attack, and let you perform a strong Charge Slash. Longsword A normal overhead sword strike With its high archway, a perfect tool to aim at higher spots Drawn Double Slash is the switch skill for Step Slash. This only replaces the draw attack with two hits. If time dwell, this move can absorb incoming attack. This switch skill changes the last two attacks of the spirit combo. After a three hit combo, you swing your sword in a wide circle. After hitting the round slash, your spirit gauge levels up by one. In contrast to the Spirit Round Slash combo, the Spirit Reckoning combo changes the last two attacks into a Dividing Slash followed by Spirit Reckoning. Dividing Slash lets you step forward with a single blade swing from right to left. Spirit Reckoning are two overhead blade strikes with the second one dealing more damage. This levels up your Spirit Gauge by one even if only the very last hit connects. By using one Warbug, you leap forward. Hitting the initial kick lets you perform a plunging thrust, which fills your spirit gauge over time. Alternatively, you can do a spirit helm breaker. This lowers your spirit gauge by one level. Missing the kick results in a single slash. Silk Bind Sakura Slash replaces Soaring Kick with a Whirlwind-like attack. For the cost of one Warbug, you dash forward, slicing everything in your way. This attack hits two times. If you hit a monster, delayed hits deal extra damage. This also raises your Spirit Gauge by one level. Sword and Shield
the standard draw attack of sword and shield. You step forward while performing a downward slash. This also provides some kind of flinch free. The switch skill for advancing slash. You slide while doing two slashes. If you connect to a monster, you jump up in the air and have an option to do a jumping bash or mid-air slash. In addition, you can jump manually if your attack does not connect. A combo of successive shield attacks. This doesn't use sharpness and inflict KO damage when hitting the head of a monster. The switch skill for hard basher combo. After hitting a shield strike, you thrust your sword, dealing damage followed by a multi-hit attack that benefits from elemental and status attack. Using two war bugs, you swing your sword around, hitting multiple times dealing mounting damage. On top of that, you are invulnerable for the duration of this attack. The switch skill for windmill. With a Metsu Shoryugeki, you jump into the air using again two war bugs dealing mounting damage on your way up. That can be followed by either a falling bash or a plunging thrust. If timed correctly, you blocked an incoming attack similar to a guard point, increasing the damage you deal. Dual Blades While in Demon or Arch Demon mode, you attack multiple times with Spinning Blades. This move is a fast and good way to build up your Demon Gauge. The switch skill for Demon Flurry Rush. Instead of performing a spinning multi-hit attack, you slam your blades in front of you. If you hit a monster, you launch yourself in the air, dealing mounting damage on your way upwards. This can be followed by a mid-air spinning blade dance.
While in demon mode, your attack increases along with your movement speed, and you gain access to more powerful attacks in addition to a dash evade. This mode continuously drains your stamina and will end automatically when your stamina is at zero. Alternatively, you can end demon mode manually. Feral Demon Mode replaces the normal Demon Mode. Similar to the Demon Mode, Feral Demon Mode drains your stamina continuously, with the benefit of an even bigger attack increase, and the ability to deal damage while dash evading. With the use of one wire bug, you drive the blade into the target. That is connected to your hunter. After some time, said blade will explode, dealing mounting damage. The more damage you deal while the stake is in the monster, the more the explosion of the blade will deal. If the monster goes out of range, the blade will explode on its own. With this switch skill, you replace the piercing bind. With the use of one wire bug, you launch yourself in the air, giving you the opportunity to go airborne at any given time. This doesn't deal damage on its own, but can be followed by airborne attacks. Hammer Side Smash is a quick blow from the side. This can be used to start a combo. Water Strike replaces Side Smash with a counter. You can guard point an attack with the right timing, negating damage and if done correctly, that blow can be followed by an upswing. The Silk Bind Pinning Bludgeon is performed by using one war bug while your weapon is unsheathed. You use this war bug to shoot yourself in the air, spinning the hammer and dealing mounting damage. The landing slam is stronger than the spinning hits whilst airborne. By holding down the charge input, you charge this attack for more damage. Dashbreaker is the switch skill for Silk Bind Spinning Bludgeon. Instead of going upward, you use one warbug to move forward, negating every incoming damage. 
hitting a monster builds up a mount. Similar to its switch skill, you can charge this attack. By pressing the right face button while charging, you can change stances. The strength stance has a longer charge time but grants access to more powerful attacks. Switching from normal to strength resets the charge level. However, changing from strength to normal lets you switch into a fully charged normal stance. Charge Switch Courage is the switch skill for strength. This stance has only two instead of three charge levels, but in exchange lets you follow each charge attack into the next more quickly. Similar to strength, if you switch from normal to courage, your charge level resets. Switching back to normal grants you fully charged stance. Hunting Horn You perform an overhead attack. This also cues up a green note. Melodic Slap replaces Overhead Slam, but uses the same inputs. Instead of a slam, you perform a spin with a Sonic Smash at the end. This attack deals slower damage, but inflicts more KO buildup than its switch skill. When using Melody Mode Performance, every second of the same note you play will activate the assigned melody effect. Additionally, you can perform Self-Improvement. This animation has iframes and can negate damage when timed correctly. Melody Mode Echo is the switch skill for performance and changes how you play melody effects. This mode is more like the traditional hunting horn. By queuing up one note and performing an encore, the assigned melody effects will activate. For the cost of two warbugs, you drive a blade into the monster. If you hit the monster, you will unleash a powerful attack that deals a lot of damage, but will lock you into place for a brief moment.
By switching Earthshaker to Bead of Resonance, you use two Warbugs to place a bead into the ground. That bead resonates with every recital you play, performing a sonic wave and effectively doubling your song. In addition, if you play Self-Improvement near the Cocoon, you gain Attack Up, even if your hunting horn does not have the melody itself. Lance! Using one Warbug, you can access a powerful block. The buff you receive depends on how strong the attack you block. The stronger the attack, the higher the buff. The drawback is the long recovery animation if you fail to block an attack. The switch skill for Anchor Rage. Spiral Thrust lets you dash two times, raising your shield at the beginning of the move. If you successfully parry an attack, you gain an attack buff. After the second dash, you can end with a high damage finisher. The second dash can be angled however you want, which makes it a very good and effective positioning tool. Performing this attack will let you charge forward. The longer you travel without being interrupted, the more speed you gain and therefore more damage. You will charge as long as you have stamina. You cancel on your own or you crash into a wall. You have multiple options to end the charge. The Shield Charge is the switch skill for dash attack. In contrast to the dash attack, this skill charges the shield first for a limited time, blocking incoming attacks. Crashing into a monster with a shield will deal KO damage. Instead of a shield bash, you can also perform a leaping thrust. Guarding is the staple of the lance. By using the shield, you block and may counter incoming attacks. Insta-block replaces the normal guard and acts like a guard point. Blocking an attack at the start of this animation will result in a parry followed by a cross-slash counter. If you miss the right timing to block, you are open to attacks, so be careful how to use it. Gunlands An improved shelling attack By charging the rounds, you deal more damage, but it takes longer than normal shelling.
Blast Dash replaces charged shells. Instead of firing the next shell, this attack uses the recoil to propel you forward. This is a very useful tool to close gaps and reposition yourself. You can chain up to three blast dashes back to back. Once you fly, you can perform a jumping slash. Hail Cutter uses two warbugs that launch you into the air, doing a rising slash, and sends you down with an overhead smash. While you are in mid-air, you can reload. After crashing down, you have more options to attack, like doing a full burst or wide sweep. This is the switch skill for Hail Cutter. For the cost of one warbug, you drag your gun lance over the ground and dash forward, performing a slash at the end. That attack increases the damage of all shelling moves, worm stake, and wyvern fire attacks. In addition, after the slash, you can either do an overhead slam or use a worm stake cannon. Quick Reload lets you replenish your shells faster than a normal reload. On top of that, you can use it to reload after an attack and continue your onslaught. This does not reload the Worm State Cannon. Guard Reload is the switch skill for Quick Reload. By using your shield, you guard yourself while reloading. This lets you reload both shells as well as the Worm Stake Cannon. Just like the Quick Reload, you can use the Guard Reload after attacking. Switch Axe The forward slash is the bread and butter opening for Switch Axe. A quick axe stab forward which can be followed by more axe attacks or by transforming into sword mode. Forward Overhead Slash is the switch skill for Forward Slash. This attack has a longer wind-up animation, but deals more damage and gives you the opportunity to transform into Sword Mode with a Double Slash. While in sword mode, you perform an elemental discharge and repeatedly deal damage until you burst in an explosion. When you press backward, you can shorten the duration and force out the explosion quicker but dealing less damage. If your activation gauge is filled, instead of being on the ground, 
you cling to the monster for the duration of the attack. The switch skill for finishing discharge. This will change the animation to a faster round swing, which not only gives you hyper armor, but also sends everyone around you flying, so be careful in multiplayer. The activation gauge doesn't matter for this attack. Using one wire bug, you dash forward while performing three strikes. While in the animation, you gain hyper armor. Soaring Wyvern Blade is the switch skill for Invincible Gambit. For the cost of one Warbug, you propel yourself upward, performing a slash on the way up. While in mid-air, you can execute a forward slash. If this attack hits a monster, a large explosion will occur and fill your activation gauge. Charge Blade When your shield is charged, you can infuse your sword with the energy that gathered in your shield. This increases your sword damage and prevents you from reflecting on harder body parts. This switch skill allows you to infuse your axe with energy instead of the sword, which turns it into a saw blade. You switch into axe form and gain multiple hits by holding the attack button. Hitting a monster in that form grants files. Morph Slash lets you change from Sword Mode to Axe Mode, and vice versa. When switching from Sword Mode to Axe Mode, you gain a Guard Point which blocks incoming attacks. The replacement for Morph Slash changes the attack in a more defensive way. The attack is a bit slower but provides another guard point when transforming from Axe into Sword Mode.
counter peak performance lets you block an incoming attack, fills your files, and gives you the option to counter attack. This uses one wirebug. This switch skill makes you slam your axe into the ground. After that, you use one warbug to move up into the air. While airborne, you can unleash an elemental discharge to your enemy. Tornado Slash is a powerful attack at the end of a combo, performed while Red Kinsec Extract is loaded. With this switch skill, you execute four strikes. One of them using the back of the insect glaive and can lure power insects to spread dust. A standard attack to close gaps by leaping forward and slamming your weapon downward. This can negate talkback even without orange kinsect extract loaded. This attack replaces Sleeping Slash. While spinning forward, you are able to use the impact of an incoming attack to go upwards. Using one warbug, you jump into a cardinal direction and recall your kinsect. When your kinsect is returning, it spins and spreads healing extract. The kinsect will fully recover its stamina when it goes back to your hunter. By switching Recall Kinsect to Diving Wyvern, you gain access to a powerful diving attack. 
while on the ground, you use a warbug to launch yourself into the air and crash downward. Diving wyvern can also be performed mid-air. Both actions use one warbug. Also, hitting vaulting dance before diving wyvern increases the damage of this attack. Light Bowgun The Standard Reload Reload time depends on the ammo and weapon capabilities. Elemental Reload is the switch skill for Reload. It's slower but temporarily increases the damage of Elemental Shots. The normal roll evade for light bogan. Quickstep Evade replaces the forward dodge with a faster step that covers less distance but needs less time to recover. Right after the step, you deal more damage with your shots. By jumping upwards using one warbug, you can either shoot or fire a wyvern blast mine directly underneath you, which will stick to the monster. Switching Fanning Vault with Fanning Maneuver allows you to swing with a force of one Warbug to the left or to the right. That increases the damage of your next shots and lets you shoot while in motion. Heavy Bowgun By using your weapon, you perform an attack that can deal KO damage when hitting the head. If you have a shield mod equipped, you block incoming attacks in the animation.
This switch skill replaces the melee attack with a shoulder bash. Similar to the greatsword tackle, you gain hyper armor and ignore knockbacks for the duration of this attack. Counter Shot absorbs an incoming attack with the use of two Warbugs. That absorbed attack will be followed up by a powerful Counter Shot which propels you backward, gaining distance to your target. Counter Charge is the switch skill for Counter Shot. It behaves the same, but with the difference that instead of firing a Counter Shot, you use the Absorbed Attack to shorten the time you need to charge a regular shot. This switch skill either shoots one bullet that deals piercing damage, followed by explosions, or fires 50 bullets similar to a minigun. That depends on the special ammo of the weapon you use. Healing Mech Wyvern Snipe replaces the normal one. The only difference is that this deals less damage but heals you depending on the damage you deal. Power Shot is a more powerful normal shot that raises your charge level. You can perform up to two power shots back to back. As the replacement for Power Shot, Absolute Power Shot functions like a Power Shot with a bonus of dealing KO damage when hitting the monster's head. This action costs more stamina.
Charging Sidestep is an evade that charges your shot level by 1 every time you perform it till your charge level is maxed out. Then, you will stay on the max charge level. This dodge covers the ground and you can move in the cardinal directions. If you time it well, you can iframe attacks without taking damage. The switch skill for charging sidestep. Dodge Bolt uses less stamina to execute, but doesn't raise your charge level and covers less ground. Instead, if you dodge an attack at the right moment, you instantly go up to charge level 3 and deal a bit damage while evading. Evading without dodging an attack keeps your charge level. With the use of one warbug, you jump in a direction of your choice. This covers a lot of ground and upon landing, stamina recovers quicker for a moment. On top of that, if this is timed correctly, you can negate incoming attacks. Aerial Aim replaces Focus Shot with an airborne attack. With one Warbug, you catapult yourself upwards. While mid-air, you can fire up to three shots which can be freely aimed. Each shot increases your charge level. Also, you may use a Diving Melee attack which deals more damage. And that's it! This took quite some time to put together. We hope it helps you in your future hunts. Also, thank you for all the support we receive. Stay tuned for our future projects. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.